Science Olympiad Class 7 Heat Heat is the universal source to lead life on earth and nothing else can substitute this source. So, let us know more about it. Heat is a form of energy. It causes expansion, change of state and chemical changes. It flows from a hotter body to a cooler one and this transfer is known as exchange of heat. Temperature is defined as the degree of hotness or coldness of a body on a chosen scale. It is measured using a thermometer. The working of a thermometer is based on any physical property that varies uniformly with temperature. The table above shows various thermometers and the physical property on which each one of them is based. Clinical Thermometer This thermometer is used at home and in hospitals to measure the temperature of human beings. The normal body temperature is 98.4 degrees Fahrenheit. This instrument consists of a thick walled glass tube of uniform area of cross section. There is a narrow bulb containing mercury at one end and the other end is sealed. When the thermometer is kept under the tongue of the patient, the mercury gets heated and rises up to a particular position and then stops. When the thermometer is taken out of the patient's mouth, the reading at the mercury level in the tube is noted which gives the temperature of the patient. Transfer of heat Heat is transferred by three different ways, namely conduction, convection and radiation. Conduction It is the process by which heat passes from one particle of a body to the next without any movements of the particle themselves. Convection It is more rapid process by which heat is transmitted in liquids, gases by actual movements of the particles. Radiation It is a process of heat transfer and medium is not necessary. Let us see conduction of heat in solids. Things we need Metal rod about 30 centimeters long, four small board pins, a candle, light the candle and use the molten wax to fix the board pins on the rod. Place the rod on a table and hold it in a horizontal position. Place the lighted candle near the tip of the metal rod. As the rod gets heated, the board pins begin to fall down one by one. This experiment shows that the heat from the candle travels from one end to the other end as the rod gets heated. Good and bad conductors of heat. Take four rods of the same size and length. One each of copper, iron, zinc and aluminium. With the help of molten wax, fix three nails or board pins at equal distances on these rods. Fix the rods to separate clamps and heat their free ends with a burner. The nails will start falling from the copper rod, then from aluminium, zinc and iron rods. This experiment proves that different metals conduct heat differently. To show that water is a poor conductor of heat, let us prove it now. We need a glass test tube with two-thirds of water in it, a piece of ice, wire gauze and a Bunsen burner test tube holder. Wrap a piece of ice in a wire gauze and put it into the water in the test tube. Hold the test tube with a test tube holder and tilt it over a Bunsen burner so that the water near the mouth of the test tube gets heated. You will find that the water starts to boil but the ice wrapped in the wire gauze does not melt. This experiment proves that the ice does not melt because water is a poor conductor of heat. To show convection currents in water, take a round bottom flask, place a handful of crystals of potassium permanganate in it, fill about two-thirds of the flask with water, attach the flask to a stand, 
keep it on a tripod stand and heat it with a burner. As the flask gets heated, the water from the bottom of the flask goes up and water from the top comes down. This is shown by the movement of the thin lines of purple colored water emerging from the crystals at the bottom of the flask. They rise upwards, reach the top and spread out. Many such fine streams can be seen. They are called convection currents. This experiment proves that convection currents are produced in water. Convection currents in gas. Place a lighted candle in a glass trough which is about one third filled with water. Cover the candle with a glass chimney. Now take a cardboard and cut it in the shape of the letter T. Place it in the mouth of the chimney so that it divides it into two halves as shown. The candle continues to burn because this cardboard regulates the supply of fresh air into the chimney. Convection current is set up. Hot air escapes through the other side. To prove this, hold a lighted agarbatti near the mouth of the chimney. You can see the smoke enter in through one side and escape through the other side of the cardboard. Radiation We feel warm when we sit in front of a fire. How does the heat travel from the heater to our body? Radiation is a process of heat transfer in which a material medium is not necessary. To demonstrate this, take two metal sheets. Paint one in black and the other in white. Fix two board pins at the back of each sheet at the same height using wax. In between the two sheets, place a lighted Bunsen burner as shown. You will notice that the pin on the black sheet falls down while the pin on the white sheet continues to remain fixed for a long time. This is because black absorbs more heat than white. Types of thermometers There are different types of thermometers based on their uses. Some of them are clinical thermometers, laboratory thermometers, and maximum and minimum thermometers. Each thermometer has a lower fixed point, the lowest temperature it can measure, and an upper fixed point, the highest temperature it can measure. They are denoted as IFP and UFP respectively.